It's a gooey, chewy candy bar known for nougat, peanuts, and caramel wrapped in chocolate. And ever since 1930, the Snickers bar has been putting a smile on people's faces with a name that Mars founder Frank C. Mars picked as an inside joke of sorts. Some people think about the name Snickers, and they think, oh, they're probably talking about giggling or laughing. But in reality, Snickers was named after the family's favorite horse. Today, this silly-sounding snack is the world's best-selling candy bar. Globally, we'll sell about $2 billion of Snickers a year. And at the Master Foods USA plant, a division of Mars in Chicago, Illinois, it all starts with Snickers' signature nougat. To make this chewy taste, a mixture of corn syrup, egg whites, sugar, and salt whips into an airy blend called frap. Then fresh ground peanut butter mixes in, flavoring the sticky stuff. The finished mix cooks to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, then drops onto a chilly contraption with giant rolling pins. The rollers themselves are actually ice cold, and the nougat then forms a skin uh, and is then transferred off of those rollers onto a stainless steel belt. Meanwhile, in another area, fresh roasted peanuts mix with buttery caramel. In fact, in the U.S., 99 tons of whole peanuts go into making Snickers bars every day. Because that gives the Snickers bar a variety of texture and also a stronger peanut impact. Just like the nougat, this warm and gooey mix chills out by taking a ride through the refrigerated rollers. At that stage, it's very runny. So we want to cool the caramel down so we can begin to form it and lay it right down on top of the nougat slab. Next, this candy slab cools down to the core in an enclosed refrigerated tunnel. We don't want to have it really cold on the surface and, and warm and runny in the middle. Once it firms up, blades slit the slab into long strips. It's like cutting a ribbon. We're making it into thin slices so then we can cut that into the appropriate length. And today, those strips are being cut down to fun size pieces. Just before diving for a covering of chocolate, feet first. The reason we're doing that is so that when we cover the entire bar, we've got the right height profile so we can get a complete coverage, top, bottom, and sides. Next, bars ride under a chocolate waterfall. And on the way out, get topped off with their distinctive design. At Mars, we put a different decoration or a squiggle on the top of every one of our products. Just imagine, if you didn't have a squiggle, it wouldn't be a Snicker bar. Once the chocolate cools, the fun size Snickers wrap up at a rate of about 900 bars per minute. But it's the regular size bars that give Snickers its nutty reputation. About a handful of nuts, 20 to 25 peanuts, are actually in the Snicker bar.